getting in there to bring him down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play fake. Mahomes. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And incomplete on the deep ball. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Throwing on first down is Allen. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Play action, it's Mahomes. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open, otherwise just don't do it. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On play action, Allen. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. to throw once more. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To the air, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Again, the quick slant caught. Touchdown, Bills. 
Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen as his guys are able to extend their lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. They're going to keep it on the ground, and he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches, and the two-point attempt is turned aside. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 16 more on that one and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Mahomes going to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. They fake the give. Now Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Hey, we can push ball security all we want here, but how about that effort on defense? Excellent job inside the red zone. Just took away at least three points by forcing that fumble. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. There is the offense. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is down to a field goal. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by LeJarrius Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So 
Iceman's going to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Jordan Phillips busting through to get him for a loss of six. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. He's got his man, Valdez-Scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 26 yards. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And Diggs has it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. I think the offensive line was caught off guard a little bit because normally on an RPO, that ball's gone quickly. But in this case, he held it, and they held up well in their protection. He found his man downfield, something that's not typical, but it sure worked out well. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. We got four. Check. Check out. Allen going to throw. He'll buy some time right. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Justin Reed. So that now back-to-back -back drive CD that have ended with an interception. I don't know about you, but I'd call my quarterback over, put an arm around him, and say, hey, 
Take a look at the scoreboard. We're playing with a lead. Let's be smarter about what we're doing out there. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Still just a two-score game in the third quarter, but they're going to go onside kick here anyway. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, it's such a high-stakes scenario. Everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. 23 yards on the play. Here's Allen on first and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. They run here with Singletary. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Throwing now is Allen. Forced out to his left. His throw incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. 
Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. First carry here for Taiwan Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, 27 yards. And the Bills get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Justin Reed. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Pass the 20. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From the six. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, wide open, complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Mahomes will throw for it. Flushed out right. And he will get into the end zone. So how about that for putting it on the line? They've taken the lead by a point here in the fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. It's a squib kick fielded just inside the 20. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Now, here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. 
It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Singletary again. A gain of three, second down. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. On the handoff, it's Singletary. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here's Singletary. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground. First and ten. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Second and eight coming up. They'll run here with Singletary. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A potential field goal, if you're thinking about that, almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. Allen. And Cook has it, left side. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. One final try here for Allen. Rolling to his right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And nothing there on the return. They've got the football, but they'll have to start this drive at their own four-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the 10. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. On second down, they'll run it here. And some space here. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now Mahomes. He's got a man complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 
So this one in the win column for Kansas City. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those 